Moving further, there are a couple of more topics into AWS IAM section, which is like access analyzer, how you can verify the accesses and uh, what are the users having the permission, how long those users has been existing into your AWS system. So those kind of access analyze, analysis, which you can also perform from AWS, and that, those could be a potential question which you might face into AWS uh, Certified Solution Architect exam. So let's take a look onto those concepts as well so first of all let's take a look onto the aws credential report for your iam user so here this is my aws console go to the iam section over here and into the iam section in the left navigation you will find a credential report so just click on it click on download credential report over here and it will download you the excel so here you can see this is the csv which i'm just going to open it and here you can see this is the csv which i have just opened and as you can see these are the accounts which are present inside my aws so which is rahul test demo user test user demo 2 as well these are the arn user creation time uh, password enable whether it's true or false password last time use uh, and uh, there are lots many details which are related to your credential like when user has been created when the user has been generated his or own credential when the last time that user has tried to access those uh, account using those credential so those kind of a report which you can get uh, from this particular functionality which is like a credential report so that's a one uh, like a reporting thing which you can generate from your aws im section the next thing which I'm going to talk about is the access advisor. So the access advisor is a little bit more granular where you can go to your user and then you can verify like what kind of a permission that particular user has. So how to see that? So let's go back to again to your IAM section. So let's start from the scratch once again. This is the home page. Go to IAM over here and here click on the users from the left navigation and here you can see these are the users which we just saw into our report so let's click on the test user demo which i have been using throughout this series and here you will find an option for an access advisor so click on this access advisor and here you can see the allowed services so in this section you can verify the uh, permission which has been granted to that particular user so since it was a demo user and i have assigned the s3 permission to that particular user so using the access advisor you can just go down and verify like what kind of a permissions are associated with the user so that it is easy to troubleshoot and fix some of the issues or permission related to that particular user so that's uh, the reason we use access advisor in our iam uh, moving further there are a couple of more option uh, into your im section which i'm just going to show to you so if you go to the im section and here on the left navigation which you will find like unused access so if you click on this unused access then it will generate the report for all the users which has not been using your aws im account for a long time so for that what you need to do you just need to create that analyzer for unused access so as you can see in my account i have not created that uh, analyzer uh, yet so just click on create analyzer over here and then you can see like what kind of a uh, unused what kind of a type of uh, analysis you, you want to perform so here i'm interested into unused access analysis so this is the option i'm just going to choose here you need to enter the name of the report so i'm just going to put uh, like a demo report uh, unused access but since this is my personal demo account and here we don't have that many users so this report will be empty but here i'm just want to show you like how you can generate in case if you are using it if you need to generate this report so here you just need to specify the tracking period so let's say if i put 90 over here then that means so it will just try to find the users which has not been using or that account has not been used from last 90 days but this is my demo account uh, this is my personal account and here i have only one root account and some few uh, test accounts so you will not see that many details over here but just in case if you want to use it so these are the days where you can specify like for how many days you want to do the analysis and second the analysis how you want to perform whether you want to perform on an organization level or whether you want to perform it on a account level so here you can see the difference uh, if you are just going to go with the account then it will just perform that analysis on this particular root account which is this one here you can see the id of account id is exactly similar over here but in case if you want to go on an organization level like uh, in aws we have a concept of an aws organization so you can just select this option as well
so with that uh, you can just go all the uh, different different accounts and uh, there will be multiple accounts in your aws uh, uh, cloud so you can just go through all those accounts when you choose the current organization and it will fetch you all the details of unused account so this is one option which you can use and then just click on create analyzer and then it will take a certain amount of our time to process and fetch all those data and then it will prepare a report for you so that's a one more thing which you can use uh, to analy analyze your aws iam accesses which has been unused for a long time the next thing which i would like to show you over here is the organization activity into the iam section so here you will find the organization activity which will prepare you the hierarchy or the t structure like which is a root account which is a child account inside that root account and if there are any further uh, accounts within those child account here so here you can see this is my root account and inside i have created a two organization unit which is dev and test and inside the dev you will find few more which is development in the test you will find test account and this is my root account so these are the different different organization unit which we create inside our aws organization as well so this kind of a uh, hierarchy which you can also see over here if in case you want to uh, like explore like what kind of different accounts and organization units uh, has been created by aws account uh, or within your company so this is the good uh, section where you can take a look onto different account and uh, organization unit present inside your aws account so that's a one more option which you can see over here the next thing is the scps which we also call is that a service control policy so service control policies are the policies which has been assigned to a organization unit so in the previous section we have seen the organization unit so here you can see this is a development organization which has this id and this is their email id which you can see over here okay so if in your organization or your company if you have a different different organization unit then you will find these kind of a details but what are the scp service control policy associated with these organizations so which you can see over here so the service control policy but this service control policy as of now which you see over here is for this particular account which is this one this particular account okay so this account is a root account so that's why it has a full aws access which you can see over here so it has all the accesses uh, within the aws because this is a root account but in case if you are let's say if you are going to go inside the development account and then you are going to click on this organization activity then you will see uh, sorry in the scp actually once you will click once you will go into this development account which is this one and then you will go into service control policy and then you will check over here then you will not find the full aws but you will find a very restrictive uh, policy over there because that particular account doesn't have permission to do all those things but since this is a root account so it can do all those uh, thing or all those permission has been granted to this particular root account so this is a one more option for checking and verifying your scp which is like a service control policies assigned to your account or organization unit so this was all about the am access analyzer and various reports which you can generate for your access policies in the next section we are going to take a look on to aws organization in a much more detail